Welcome back to Africa This Morning with me, Charity Chikine. Now, this is On Trend, where we highlight some of the stories making way across the social site of Twitter. Now, if you look at my extreme right here, we have the 10 most trending topics of the day, but this, uh, this particular topics are going to change throughout the day as this particular stories develop. Others may come and overtake some of these stories to take the precedence. So, indeed, it's a matter of monitoring the social site of Twitter to just know what is happening, uh, what is a buzz at the... At that particular hour as opposed to just taking this as is but today we are going to speak about three stories one in regards to the region around the east african uh, region where we're talking about south sudan and the remaining two stories are in regards to the big uh, barclays premiership league and the champions league all in matters european football but first things first let's begin with things in our boundaries now south sudan since the mutiny of december 15th 2013 the, st the state of South Sudan is continuing to deteriorate, uh, to deteriorate further, where we are having forces loyal to uh, Nuer leader, that is Rayak Masha, uh, kill over 200 citizens and civilians belonging to the Dinka ethnic tribe across uh, the greater um, Bientu region. Now, this particular killing occurred all through th uh, Thursday into the weekend. And so the situation is still, uh, the, the information trickling in is still uncertain, but for sure, 200 people have been killed, over 400 people have been injured. So what we're expecting to see is a lot of international interve intervention in this particular story. But what is making way across the social site of Twitter? We're having here children, mutin uh, children malnutrition spikes in South Sudan because of this particular raging war. Farming activities are not taking place. So indeed, we're expecting to see a lot, of, a lot more people being affected by malnutrition. And also, um, security matters are still not safe in South Sudan. So what is happening is that the, the, particular, um, the particular words being used is piles and piles of bodies just but one person's account. That was a bishop of a Catholic church that was the arena of that particular shooting across the BN2 region where he's saying he's never seen piles of bodies across South Sudan that this indeed is devastating now he was equating this to the fight between the South Sudan and North Sudan when then it was between Arabs and the um, the ethnic uh, South Sudanese man, but now it is South Sudan against South Sudan. So he's indeed saying that there's need to stop this particular fighting, that South Sudan fought for its independence, and thus we should not be able uh, to, 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 um, to actually uh, scar the, the, the relationship South Sudan has with one another. But so we are, expe we are expecting a ceasefire agreement to be signed. Uh, it was signed uh, um, in the beginning of January between the Igad community and the two warring factions of South Sudan. But this particular ceasefire is not being adhered to so we're waiting to see what mounting pressure will take place uh, in South Sudan to ensure that these two warring leaders come together to ensure that a lasting solution, an amicable solution is found for the situation of South Sudan. But the hashtag to follow is the hashtag South Sudan where you are seeing every few minutes people are, are giving out their insights on exactly what they think about this South Sudanese situation. You can become part of the buzz by giving your comments and your, uh, your take on the hashtag South Sudan on exactly what you think the South Sudanese government should do and what South Sudan should embrace to ensure they find a lasting solution and also keep everyone up to date if you're in South Sudan keep us up to date on this particular hashtag so that we may know what is happening there in South Sudan but moving on swiftly to matters Barclays Premiership League where yesterday David Moyers was kicked out of the uh, of leading uh, the team Manchester United now this follows this small performance of the Manchester United Football Club so um, the American owners who own part of the shares of Manchester United uh, sought to fire Mr. David Moyes for lack of better performance. His tactics were below par according to them, so indeed he got the booting. But now what we're expecting to see, a lot of buzz is, uh, is going round uh, to this specific man. Now let me open that photo for you. Now this man is a Dutchman by the name Louis Van Gaal. Now people are saying he's a man for this particular job because his tacti his, uh, he has a very tactful uh, way of analyzing a particular match to ensure that his team uh, players are, are take advantage of the situation to gather up goals that are needed for Manchester United that has been used to winning but over the past few matches they have been losing. They've been sitting on the 7th position moving down to 8th position. So indeed 
indeed it is quite the small performance for the team of Manchester United. So this is like a wake-up call for Manchester United. But what I can say is that uh, Sir Alex Ferguson will be given a hand on who to pick next as the particular uh, team manager for Manchester United. So this is just the buzz surrounding the whole situation of who is to replace David Moyes. But we'll give you inside information as it happens and as it unfolds. And lastly, let's go to the Champions League where Chelsea faced um, Atletico Madrid yesterday where they uh, they took to a, a draw of 0-0 zero, zero of Nim Neil uh, in yesterday's game. So what we're expecting to see is the second leg of this particular match taking place at Stamford Bridge and we're hoping to see an outright winner who will then face the match that is going to be decided today between Bayern Munich and Real Madrid. So the winner of the, today's particular match between Ra uh, Real Madrid and Bayern Munich will face either Atletico or uh, Chelsea during the final leg of the Champions League. So indeed, quite good stories coming in. But if you follow us on Twitter and even tomorrow, we'll give you an updated version of exactly the version of events of what is happening. But this is the page to be. If you want to know what is happening across your boundaries here in Kenya, the greater East African region, the whole of Africa and the globe over. Now, Ebru Africa this morning is a place to be where we give you information surrounding sports, culture, entertainment, politics. So indeed, it is a whole a world of information that you need to know. We'll keep you updated. Follow us on Twitter and follow us on Facebook where you can find this updated information. Well, I'm Charity Kine. That is all for Ebru Africa on Trend.